इंस्ट्रूमेंट एयर सिस्टम पार्ट टू एयर इनटेक एंड एयर इनटेक फिल्टर्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर टिपिकल ले आउट ऑफ एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एयर सिस्टम एज शोन इन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वॉज डिस्कस्ड Here we can see the intake for the ambient air. So this we call as air intake. Then the air is passing through either filter A or filter B. When filter A is in service, filter B is in maintenance or ready mode. so out of the two filters only one filter will be in service so here we are having air intake and here we are having intake air filter we are going to discuss about air intake and air intake filter air intake ideally the compressor suction should be located in a clean temperate area as close to the compressor as possible in a hot dry environment like the desert the suction is best located in a cool building otherwise an air precooler should be installed to drop the temperature of the suction air to the 70 degree to 80 degree fahrenheit range request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe in a cool moist environment the compressor suction should be located outside the building for a compressor free air volume delivered will increase in direct ratio of suction air temperature to delivered air temperature for example a 1000 cfm compressor taking suction from a 80 degree fahrenheit room will deliver 1000 cfm of free air at 18 degree fahrenheit however if the suction is moved outdoor to a 40 degree fahrenheit ambient location the compressor will need a suction of only 926 cfm to deliver the same 1000 cfm of air at 80 degree fahrenheit room temperature this will result in a direct power saving of 7.4% if the compressor suction is located outside it should be protected from the weather by a surrounding louvered hood this guard also normally houses the pre filter and the silencer the weather hood on inlet filtration system is shown in next slide this is a weather hood on inlet filtration system and here we are having the lowered 
put as mentioned in the previous slide. The intake piping should be installed with the minimum of bends or elbows. The piping should be corrosion resistant, well supported with an expansion joint or hosed coupling. See figure 3.1. This eliminates pipe stress at the compressor intake coupling and provides an adequate suction. This is the hard rubber cover in the flexible coupling. Intake piping should be fitted with a vacuum gauge and a vacuum breaker for compressor protection from a clogged intake line or filter. The air intake pipe diameter should never be smaller than the compressor suction inlet. As a rule of thumb, most manufacturers recommend that the intake size be increased by 1 inch for every 10 feet of suction pipe run. The air intake should be 8 to 10 feet above ground and the suction inlet should not be located in the vicinity of a steam discharge line or an internal combustion engine exhaust. Air intake filters to a naked eye, the air may look clean, but it contains dust and dust dirt particles that cause damage and wear to the finally finished surfaces of compressor internal parts. Therefore, it is important to install and properly maintain an air intake filter. Most compressor manufacturers will recommend a filter which matches the compressor capacity and the air quality required. A filter should be sized approximately 150% of rated compressor capacity and should be designed to withstand a nominal 35 feet per minute velocity without damage. There is only one type of filter suitable for instrument air compressors. It is the dry type filter. The dry filter is densely packed filter medium which strains the contaminants as air is drawn through it. The finer the filter medium, the greater the filtering efficiency and the pressure drop. Such filter elements must be maintained in a clean condition. Clogged filters may rupture and release the trapped debris into the system, damaging the finally finished compressor internals. Monitoring of filter pressure drop is a necessity. A sudden decrease in filter differential pressure can indicate that the filter has broken through and an increase in filter differential pressure may indicate that the filter is clogged or nearing its capacity. The typical pressure drop with a dry filter in a clean condition is about 
3 to 8 inches of water. These filters installed in multiple stages can remove better than 99% of These filters installed in multiple stages can remove better than 99% of the specified particulate size. Some dry type filter elements can be cleaned and reused by blowing with compressed air or washing with detergent. In expensive treated paper elements should be discarded and replaced. Because of the oil free nature of dry elements, they are ideal for instrument air systems and for use with non lubricated compressors. If an intake filter does not have a pressure drop monitoring device or if there is a possibility that the filter will not support full system differential pressure, a cone strainer in a pipe spool piece should be installed between the intake filter and the compressor suction for compressor protection. The cone strainer should be approximately 1 by 8 inch If an intake filter does not have a pressure drop monitoring device or if there is a possibility that the filter will not support full system differential pressure, a cone strainer in a pipe spool piece should be installed between the intake filter and the compressor suction for compressor protection. The cone strainer should be approximately 1 by 8 inch mesh in size. A typical air intake filter is shown in next slide. This is a typical compressor intake filter. The ne the next lecture shall be the, ne the next lecture shall be instrument air system part 3 in this lecture some other important component of the instrument air system shall be discussed request it is hoped that this lecture is useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe.